Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to talk about essential oils for skin rash. We're going to talk about what essential oils are best for using on different skin conditions like eczema, diaper rash, and more. So let's start going down the list of different essential oils that are great for healing skin rashes. These are really going to overlap over both eczema and diaper rash and any type of skin irritation that just needs to be soothed and healed. I will also mention that something like eczema is actually an autoimmune response from within the body. So when the body has leaky gut and those undigested food particles are getting into the bloodstream and the immune system is attacking them and things like that, then it's gonna show up in the body in various ways and in some people it shows up as eczema. So rather than purely just treating those surface symptoms, we do want to focus on healing the gut and making sure that we get to the underlying cause of why the eczema is happening in the first place. And I have lots of videos on my channel and I'll link some of them below to get you started about how to heal leaky gut and get rid of eczema for good. But in the meantime, while you're still dealing with it, it is really nice to have some, some natural options for soothing it and just getting relief from that itching and burning and uncomfortable symptoms from eczema. And then as far as diaper rash, that can come from so many different reasons, but you do also wanna kind of, kind of pay attention if it is happening what is the baby eating that might not be agreeing with them? Or if they're just nursing, maybe I'm eating something that I shouldn't that's not agreeing with them. Things like that. Try to get to the root cause always in every case. But still, we need something to soothe it and heal it whenever it does happen. So let's get started down the list of different essential oils that are very helpful for both of those conditions. As well as really any other itchy, irritating skin type of situation that can come up. So the first one is lavender. This is probably my all-time favorite essential oil just because it is so versatile, it is gentle, it smells so good, yet it is so effective at so many different things. It's good for soothing and calming and relaxing. For skin, it reduces inflammation and it has antiseptic properties. It's also one of those essential oils that are is perfectly safe for using on kids. Chamomile is another really nice soothing one that is also safe for kids. It lowers histamine levels, so it can be really helpful for soothing inflammation and irritation on skin. It's hydrating, soothing, and anti-inflammatory. Copaiba is a nice one that's warming and soothing, and that's really good for skin conditions. Frankincense is really helpful for bruising and swelling and sores, and it also rejuvenates skin. So you can use it for healing those skin wounds that happen, and then it's also just nice for anti-aging benefits. Palmarosa is a really nice one that is balancing to the skin. I have another video, which I'll link below, where I talk about why plant therapy is my personal favorite essential oil brand. They have such high quality essential oils. Lots of them are certified organic. They go to great lengths when they source the essential oils and what farms they get them from. And so they're a really great company. They have a couple different options that I wanted to share with you of already pre-blended essential oils that are designed for healing skin, eczema, diaper rash, lots of other skin irritations. So the first one is Silky Soft. This is a great choice for both eczema and diaper rash. It has kid safe ingredients. It contains a lot of the essential oils that I actually already went over individually, all combined into one bottle. It smells really good, it has this nice floral scent to it. So I would highly recommend this one if you're dealing with eczema or diaper rash. I have a really, really nice diaper rash ointment recipe on my blog. I will link that below. I also have a video tutorial, which I'll link below to show how to make that. And I use the Silky Soft essential oil blend in that. It works so well. I also use tallow balm, which you may not have thought of for a diaper rash ointment, but it works amazingly. In that same recipe, I combine the tallow balm, the essential oils, and some bentonite clay. So you get 
so many different amazing ingredients working to heal that diaper rash really fast because anybody with a baby knows that you need to get that healed fast. The other one is called Skin Soother. This one is really great for eczema as well. And it has all ingredients that are safe for kids and you could use it safely on a baby too when it's properly diluted. So this one also contains similar ingredients to a lot of the ones that I listed that are just great for soothing and healing skin. There's a little bit of a different variety. You might try them both and see which one works best for your particular situation because everybody's different. But those are two really handy ways to use a lot of those essential oils that I just listed in one handy mixture that's already ready to go. I will have links below where you can find those exact single essential oils that I listed as well as these blends and grab them for yourself. I'll also have a link to my blog post where I have the written article and some more information about all of these different essential oils that I just listed. I also have lots of different recipes on that blog for skincare as well as nourishing food recipes. I have a free ebook that is a DIY personal care recipes ebook. I've mentioned it before, but if you're new here, I wanted to mention it. I'll have a link below where you can grab that. It's full of some basic skincare recipes that you can make at home. Okay, if you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who might be suffering from eczema or needs a nice natural diaper rash remedy option. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.